Okay, so the um, the boys next door have got five minutes, so I didn't want to full, film the full five minutes doing the heart rate variability with Tom. Um, so what I've done is come into the room next door where Bruno's just setting up the uh, thermo image camera. He's got the vertical jump mat set up, so shortly we'll be having players coming in. Uh, as is the case, um, <laughs> internet is hit and miss, so um, he's having to hotspot off his phone so the the wonders of technology so i'll just have a little bit of a sneaky uh look around bruno's just gone out the room so he, i was filming as he was sort of setting up so he knows what i'm doing um, but i won't interrupt too much we do have our physio here uh sean bell from sage physio who's our physio provider so uh, i'll try and capture a bit of footage with sean um, anybody looking for a physio, good physio, Sean is top notch with his team at Sage. So I'll try and put their information in the description so you can um, give them a follow and organise yourself some physiotherapy. So here we go, I'll just spin around, show you a little bit of the thermo image stuff um, and some of the data stuff which you've already seen but I want to capture as much as we possibly can. So Sean's just there, being nosy through the door. So that is the SAP pre-training um, Proforma, NPL Proforma with the weight. Uh, here is the, um, the platform for the thermo image. So I know when you put cameras on these things it all looks pixelated etc so shortly the players will stand on these two doofers here with the feet like that and then they'll have to pull the shorts up and then bruno will scan their muscles and then we'll get a report sent to the staff us around about 11 o'clock and then we'll know who's recovered, who's not recovered, who needs to rest, etc. So you pretty much know this one. This is the vertical jump. So again, you saw last week some footage of the players doing their, their testing there. I will try and capture, if I can, some of the girls' stuff as well, again, because it's important to, um, to put the girls in this as well. So I'll cut here because 
I'm waffling again, aren't I? And then turn around. Leon, Leon, have you done? Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. No, no, no. Not, not the body. You are done as well. Thank you. Sorry, mate. Next. Oh, you're going to take off what you have. How are you doing? How are you doing? Feel well? Any sore? That's good. Did you play well yesterday? Yes. 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 <laughs> kind of? Yeah, Turn around, please. Oh. And what about Kai? Did you play well? Okay, um, I'm doing this backwards actually. So I filmed some footage of um, all players getting tested this morning, boys and girls. So I'm doing the sort of formal intro now. Um, it is just nipping up to eight o'clock in the morning. So I'll spin the camera around in the distance. You'll see the baby's still training. You might just be able to get that. Um, and I've come out for a cup of coffee. Um, so yeah, the um, kids are all doing their testing, all their training, etc. So um, I'm going to be mindful about filming now because uh, general students are turning up. So from a, uh, a data protection point of view, we've got to be mindful that some some uh, students are not uh, not permitted to be on camera, etc. So. I'll leave it here, I'll cut back in um, for the training sessions at um, half twelve and then we'll move on from, from that point on, okay? Okay, we've just started training, so what I'll do is I'll spend a couple of minutes just going around the field, try and capture as much footage as I can, uh, we can upload it now because we've got loads and loads of memory. So um, I'm going to upload as much as I can, capture as much as I can. Um, my group aren't training yet. Uh, we're going to move into set pieces because we have um, a game tomorrow. So we'll run through our team shape and set plays. So I'll try and get probably Ben or somebody to, to just jump behind the GoPro and, and capture a bit of footage. But you've seen the set plays in other videos as well. So but it's good to see the team preparation stuff for the game tomorrow. Now I'll also capture some footage from the game if I get permission from the opposition. So I'll stop talking and we'll have a look at some of the training. for the wind um, it is still quite breezy can't do anything about that so we'll just have to get on with it and I don't want to mask it out so I'll turn show you Trent with the girls and then we'll move up to the small sided game where, where Ben and Mitch are hi Ivory OK, 
okay, I won't spend too much there. Uh, let's have a look at the small sided game with Mitch and Ben. I'm hoping you captured that where you could actually see it properly because that was brilliant. Um, now I'm in the way of the bloody goalkeeper and the goal. Um, we keep talking about the fireway. Um, people have this misconception and it's about it's a fad and all this sort of stuff. And it's just about just putting a slogan to something. It's not at all. If you could see what we've just done there, the passage of play we've put together, that's what we're talking about. In possession, out of possession. And we keep talking about the principles of play. So, when I said about the game never changing, or, um, I say it didn't change, what I said was the principles never change. The game gets quicker, and obviously with the introduction of sports science, as you know, we've got our own sports science guru, so, um, but the principles of the game, you know, what we do when we get the ball, width end to end, mobility, improvisation, that type of stuff when we haven't got it, compactness, delay, uh, constraint, balance, they're the principles of the game that have never changed and will never change. So that's what we teach our boys, which is the fire way. So what I'll do now is I'll just duck into uh, where Tom is with the with the babies because he's taking care of the babies and they're doing a little bit of futsal so um, let's have a look at what he's doing eh pretty warm eh So Tom is actually our, he's our futsal guru. Um, he's a UEFA B qualified futsal coach. His dad's actually uh, an international team manager for England in futsal as well. So uh, he brings a wealth of experience in that department. So um, he enjoys getting on the hardcore surface and we're Australasian champions. So that's one of the reasons why we do what we do just for variation, um, but also we've incorporated futsal into our youth development programme as well for 2022. So we'll be working with Justin and Sunshine Coast Futsal Association. Um, they'll be delivering our futsal programme once a week. For, so when the season kicks in properly in three weeks time, the boys will commence futsal training on a Monday evening. So that'll be de delivered by the futsal staff. Tom will oversee that as a, as a bit of a futsal guru. Um, and I've actually found it interesting to be honest so uh, it's opened my eyes I've always known futsal's been there can't say I was ever in love with futsal but I've got to say I've, I've really warmed to it um, having been to the tournaments and it's pretty exciting to be honest so I'll just duck over and show you what my group are doing um, a little bit of pre-work ready for the set, the set place um, but I also want to um, show you what they're doing because this is part and parcel of how we're doing it and making sure that these kids are prepared properly um, for, for the sessions, etc. And bearing in mind, we've also got a game tomorrow, um, which we are preparing for. So we're not daft enough to think, you know, we should be out on the field now working with the players because that'd be silly. Okay, just have a look. Okay, so it's match day um, in the school's competition. So the boys have just played and won 5 0. Um, didn't capture any of that footage, to be honest with you, and I didn't want to, if I'm being honest. Um, seen quite a bit of footage of the, uh, of the boys. So 
again i want to try and capture as much as i possibly can with the girls so over here doing his team talk is trent uh, the girls are 3-0 up at half time bruno's involved he does the preparation work the warm-up etc so i'm just going to creep in behind and film a little bit okay so i'll go quiet i'll spin it around and then i'll turn it off after Basically, Gitsy, you're doing very well. Okay? You're calling the ball and you're, you're turning that, that girl there. So, Libya and Amira. These are your your two positions here. You need to support your winger on your side. Okay? When the ball comes out to either by little Claudia and you switch it out to the wings, Libya, this is you. You've got to make that run. So she has to target it. That means Ivory, you need to slide across. You need to provide support as well. Be on the side of the ball at all times. Emma, you're doing really well as a six. Okay? Stay that defensive mind. Okay? Stay nice and deep. Okay, I won't film too much because it's um, it can be quite disruptive having people with cameras and stuff like that um, around your team talks. I don't particularly like it to be honest. Um, I prefer to, to keep my, my team talks pretty personal and quiet uh, away from, from people. Um, but I do feel again it's important to share as much as we possibly can with people. So, what I will do at some stage, I'll actually um, film in the dressing room, etc. Um, pre match team talk, post match um, team talk. I don't tend to do a lot of talking post match because depending on the state of the game, emotions can be quite high, etc. So um, I'll leave this one here, so sort of two and a half minutes. I will try and capture a little bit of the girls playing a bit of football. Uh, we are running out of data because I've not uploaded it to, um, to my device, onto the platform. So um, it's a beautiful day. The pitch is actually lovely, to be fair. Fair play to St. John's Nambour. Um, they do a great job and John who, who runs the competition who's actually the coordinator for for St John's um, works really hard so um, fair play and credit to John and St John's for for the pitch etc so great facility um, I'll leave it here and I'll um, pick back up when the girls kick back off because the referee I think is ready I don't want to try, um, I don't want to capture any footage of the opposition to be honest. Obviously, sometimes it, it's inevitable um, when, when people are pressurizing and, and we're developing up the field. But I want to try and stay back at a distance to be honest because um, I haven't got permission for the opposition and uh, I don't feel it's right to because we don't know uh, people's individual circumstances, etc. So um, I will just try and film a couple of minutes when the ball rolls and then I'll cut back out. Plenty of information from Trent, from the coaching staff. Loads of encouragement. Um, the girls have done fantastically well, to be honest. So, um, see how we go.